don't know how much like everyone knows about nine point like i'm sure it's like varying degrees of nine point knowledge in here uh with me being the most knowledgeable um i'll be honest i hadn't read it until you brought this up (laughs) don't worry it's fine i have since read it i read the sheet a few times yeah okay i know things (laughs) i have general knowledge of nine point all right i read so in this particular R- rp thing whatever um we're in the the past the the nine point past pasta um <laughs> it's, pasta. it's i think it's like 300 years before or whatever something like that before the comic doesn't matter too much you know we're in a a uh, time where you know they don't have the internet things aren't going super fast slow development we're good <laughs> we, we've still got knights and stuff um the only real difference is in the comic uh there aren't really calicos about the the empire is pretty successful in getting rid of those those little buggers but in this one <laughs> uh we're in the midst of the uh the the calico hunt as this era is known so there there are calicos out there for us to murder and we need to murder calicos because they're not true cats they are um they're a scourge upon the the world they're gonna cause a some sort of disaster that is just it's bad it's bad business all around and the only thing we can do to stop that is murdering all these calicos okay so Got that's it. that's yeah that's nine I points really right. to. um did i i know the map is on here but i didn't give it to you guys i um, think you did did i you sent us a map okay I- I did not see it if you did. It's the map. It was the spoiler free map that you said looked strange. Ursula, do you have a map? Uh, that you I'm could like, send everyone? Are you looking for a world map? See, here, I could like yeah. talk. Oh, right. Oh I my remember. goodness. Let's see everyone. Oh, one, yeah. Do you have it? It was, it was the big circle. Yeah. See, I was gonna do roll twenty one, not twenty one, roll twenty, but I <laughs> looked at it <laughs> and it overwhelmed me. So roll twenty, but like one better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ursula's getting a map. So basically, oh, um, the world is a flat Earth. Flat Earth is real. Um, <laughs> nice. I knew it. At the Why edges. Is that not be the assumption. At the edges. Here's our map. Oh, okay. it's so cute! Yeah. Aww. So, at the edges of the world, it, it kind of disappears off into the spirit world. Um, that's mm. that's a whole place. Uh, white cats have a spiritual body that lives there. It's a whole thing. Getting to the spirit world is pretty impossible. Um, and in the center, we have that little circley thing. There's there's like a there's a there's like a whole bunch of circles. I don't know what I'm describing. Like the very center, we have uh, the Nine Point Empire. Okay, so the whole world isn't the Nine Point Empire. You know, we haven't colonized everything at this point. We would like Not to, yet. but it's it's gonna take <laughs> a bit for the yet. empire. Yeah, exactly. So there is the Nine Point Empire. Uh, there's the capital, which is the very very center of the world. Um, where the uh, Sorry, the... the world does revolve around. Yes, it does. Yes, uh, that's yes. where the the castle is, and then there's like a outer ring that's uh, greater nine point, um, which is like it it gets less dense as you go out, right? So where we're starting our story is right at the edge of the um the the uh, greater nine point area so it's really s- sparse like farm villages right and mm-hmm. we're in a place called robin's ford okay it's a ford and there's lots of robins it's 
that's how <laughs> it got its name. And it is a town which borders the Wildlands. So the Wildlands is everything that the Nine Point Empire does not own. Wildlanders are these crazy creatures that aren't cats. Uh, you don't really have to know much about them as individuals, okay? There's like some some of them are dangerous, like big scary things, and some are like tiny little things. You know, they have like mm-hmm. names, like wolves and uh, mice, right? But they're basically they're not cats. That's the category, and <laughs> there's. There's ways you can divide up the wildlands by kind of like uh, terrain. Um, so the closest to Nine Point is uh, the the meadows. Okay, so that's where things. I don't know what I was saying. What wildlanders come from, right? So in Robin's Ford, Ford, um, they have to deal with wildlanders. Um, being really close and sometimes causing trouble. And they also have to deal with calicos sometimes because that's yeah. because calicos have all fled to the wildlands like the cowards they are. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to start in Robin's Ford. I don't know why each of your characters are here because, because we have to kind of figure that one out. Um, they're you all have such different personalities, and I'd love to know w- what you're doing in Robin's Ford right now. It's... We can go around. Yeah, t- tell tell me why w- why you're there. I can also help you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who starts? Oh, Maybe I was just have for these there things. because of some night mission. Like he was just told you're going okay. here. He said, all right. "Okay." Tort wants to fight things, possibly a night mission, maybe not his night mission specifically, but he heard there were things to fight, so he's like, he's come out here like, okay, I'm ready. All I'm right. brave, I'm stupid, I'm gonna do this. I'm Hell gonna yeah. make my sisters proud. Oh. So oh. And just writing things oh. down. He wants to follow in their footsteps, but he's not nearly as smart as they are. Oh. Buns. Hmm? Buns is actually a farm farm area, humble chicken farm, I like to think, and um, he kind of kicked out of the house, told to do something, so he was like, I guess I'll do the night business. Um, okay. Um, Ilo just got, um, Ilo has spent the past 15 years or so being a ranger in the wilderness. Um, but he was recently called back and restationed um, to help deal with the oncoming Calico menace. Very good. So, yeah. Uh, did Mouse First say? of all, which is my cat, um, is trying to prove himself so that his parents will actually be proud of him. Oh. Aww. Aww. But, He's trying we're, to live we're up proud to of him. It the standard yeah. that his siblings set before him. So he decided, okay, time to become a knight, but he is very scared of his own mortality. Aw, baby. Aww. Similar motivation to Tor, very different personality. Yeah. Hey. Charlie. Charles. Yes, there seems to be some kind of mistake. Um... You see, I am primarily a census taker within the walls, and yet here I am outside of the walls, and nobody seems to be listening to me when I say there's clearly been a mistake here. <laughs> see, uh, me and Charlie are brothers in this game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Also, my brother is here, and my brother <laughs> makes me somewhat nervous. <laughs> fine. Okay, fine. I'm sure. So are we all like in the same like general vicinity of each other? Like we can see everyone. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm just I I gotta like place all of you too because like I didn't I, I I I don't even know you as characters. So that's fair. Yeah. Um. All right. I can work with this. So, who who here was on a night mission? 
Tor and, uh, who, who here was specifically Buckingham? sent by the king on a mission? Okay, tell I, me. I guess I guess Maybe Philo yeah. was. I think the Tor just like followed Bucket and and the other one. What, what's the other one's name? Az. Uh, Philo. Philo. So yeah, Tort just followed Bucket and Philo here. Like, not not he didn't have a specific order to go with them. He just decided to. All right. I'm on a mission, but... took on this mission, even though he thinks that he probably won't make it out. <laughs> I am on a mission, although as I say, there's clearly been a mistake. <laughs> yeah, Philo has just walked out of the forest, like leaves still in his long fur. Like, and he's just like, all right, I'm here. Uh, okay, then I think I think that Tort just followed Bucket from wherever they were. All right. Okay, so Bucket was initially tasked uh, with looking into a thing. As a blue point, Bucket is perceptive of souls and whatnot, which is very good for keeping your your well, not your eyes out. In your case, you're not really great at seeing. Uh, but <laughs> It is. It's good for for looking around, and there was word that in Robin's Ford, um, there was a band of calicos that had had gone through, and Bucket was sent on on the task to to s suss things out. You know. So, mm -hmm. and so who followed Bucket? Tort did. Or Okay. Uh, not not sneakily at all. Bucket probably definitely knows that Tort has mm -hmm. been following him this whole time. <laughs> and I believe AZ what what Philo, Philo. Okay. But I believe yeah. Philo um has been sent to do some rounds in Robinsford because they always have to deal with wildlanders and whatnot coming coming out. So it's nice to have like a night around the Lord of of uh robin's ford is off doing some very important business um so you're you are here to guard things yep. and uh they sent uh lionel along because he's good at fighting wildlanders off right oh definitely percival yeah yeah that's me Yes, Percival was was sent as well. Okay. Um, so what am I doing here? <laughs> what Maybe what are you doing Lionel. here? You know, <laughs> that's a good question. I mean, if if Lionel was sent here, I'm assuming they sent me here too, since we're a, a cream point. Uh, cream point. What's your point again? Link's Link point team. team. Yeah, you're point a team. You go together. Okay. okay. Um, before we, we get too caught up, unhappy. Uh, oh. could could we like just put our character names in like the the chat just because that will be so much easier to remember because I am not yeah. going to be able to remember anybody's name. Yeah, I did I'll put, put my, my name into my name for now. My name, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my name is my nickname. Lionel, yeah, my the name. sweaty one, honey buns. The sweet one. <laughs> <laughs> I have too them. many names and in my nickname already. I'm I also going to go them. ahead and just write my general about me thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, That's with an exclamation point. That's always <laughs> Yeah, Sorry, Honey Buns for... was sent and they require a, like, it's always better to send a, um, a links point with a cream point it's like a perfect match so and it's brothers perfect. yeah you guys can yeah, you guys can keep things up perfectly aligned <laughs> and Lionel, it's our first mission together yes <laughs> he's excited clutch his clipboard, <laughs> clipboard so yeah percival lionel and honey buns are making some rounds along the uh meadow border it's pretty open as far as like it's a small town so as um book it and the squad are heading up they can probably see you guys like keep an eye out there's there's very few like um houses in the way there's space you know they're 
raising their animals or whatever. <laughs> right, Ursula? <laughs> yeah. So you so, can. Oh, uh, so book it. Uh, um, what exactly are we doing out here? What's what's the? What are we fighting? Who is this? How can I help? Speak of. <laughs> Well, me and you, of course, and um, that that other fellow who came out of the woods. Yep, <laughs> that's me. What as far as I know, we're today? just looking around for some calico cats, yes, which I don't even know if they're real. So yes, there's. there's I never seen one in my woods. Calicos that passed through here recently. I see. So that's who we're fighting. He, like he rubs his paws together excitedly. <laughs> Look at this kind of size. We're just here to get information. <laughs> We're not. Ideally, there wouldn't be any fighting while I'm here. <laughs> but if it's not ideal, or you're. How to be I, I'm going to fight for anything. Today. Yes. Yes. You just prepare for anything, I suppose. It's good you came along, I guess. Because li living out in the woods, you got to be prepared, you know? Of course. Or anything. There's lots of things out in the woods. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. I'm, I'm sure, sure I would. Things in the woods. <laughs> the other like to wave at them. Who's waving? Uh, Tort will wave back. Like, very, very big wave. Yes, yeah, yeah. so there. Bones, did you say there were, like, some cats around who were just, like, living their life? I could go ask them. Yeah, there's, 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 there's all sorts of... There's two <laughs> oh. little ladies who are hanging out oh. nearby, who are out in the field with their, their herd of deer, or oh. is it elk or deer? You, you can have deer, it's fine. Okay. Deers are for eating. Exactly. So there's two little ladies. One is uh, an orange um, tabby and the other one's a brown tabby. Um, well, I, I walk up to them, uh, and I'm like, hello, ladies, <laughs> in, in, a polite, in a polite kind of way. Hello, uh, ladies. We're from the Night Point Guard, and we're, uh, we've are we been sent here to look out for the uh, calico cats. Have, have, you, have you two uh, had any sort of trouble lately with anything? They kind of look at each other. They're looking at you all nervous because you're kind of scary with your fur full of leaves. And <laughs> yeah, I've not combed <laughs> it out yet. <laughs> <laughs> you look a, you're a little off-putting, so they kind of look at each other nervously. And um, the I point one... I point to the night and point insignia on my chest, so they know I'm legit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just, I know. Like, um, I didn't say it. <laughs> yes, as, as, as my um, my friend was saying, uh, we're we're here to uh, try and we've heard rumors that there have been a band of calico cats here recently, and we're here to take care of it. If you have any information, it would be very beneficial for you to tell us. Yeah, we'll take care of them. <laughs> Um, so the, the orange, the orange lady, she says, well, you know, we, I don't think we've seen any calicos. Are there really calicos nearby? Do we have to worry? Oh, no, don't. Oh, There's no. There's nothing to worry about. We're just... I haven't seen any calicos myself, but there have, there have been reports. If there have so been So we just want to be thorough and gather information. I'll get them. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll get them. It's only rumors for now. If if there are discovered to be calicos in the area, we will deal with them swiftly. Yeah. Oh, okay. What, um, what, what they said. What book it said. <laughs> um, well, we haven't seen any, but um, Old Man Whitetail might know. He's he's over near the, the village center, usually. All right, thank thank you, ladies and your dear, or or else, as it were, mighty <laughs> fine dear they are. Like, thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have a good day. 
we will, we will go deal with the calicos. <laughs> don't you worry about anything. Don't like anything. waves as he's walking <laughs> away. And like, has no clue where he's going. Anything, if anything, if you see anything suspicious, don't hesitate to report. Any information is good. Thank you. He runs off after the. <laughs> and I, I, I look, I look around everyone, and I'm like, "How did I do, guys? Was that good?" There's Pat. I haven't done this in a while. I've been in the yeah, woods. Yeah, seems good to okay. me. All right, good. Thank you. Look at the shaking their head like that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'd like to turn to Lionel and be like, "Can we? Can we go with them? What are they doing?" At first, I'm inclined to, I'm inclined to disagree. But then I see there is a blue point with the group, and I have worked with many a blue point, and maybe finally somebody will listen to me. <laughs> and it's not because a bunch of blue point squires grew up and replaced my job. <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's not because blue points are better for my job. There's a mistake. Like pat you on the back. <laughs> There's a mistake. I like to think I hear no ulterior motives. Let's let's go over there. Okay. I, I like to trot over there. Percival has been keeping an eye on them from afar and also heads over there. Oh wait! Wait! Look at there's more of us! <laughs> It's a whole squad. <laughs> hello, hello. I like to wave my hands wildly. Milo <laughs> looks at honey buns and imitates waving my big paw. <laughs> hello. I like to talk to everyone and like shake their hands like really nervously. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Hi there. Uh, you have paws, not hands, by the way. Oh, I remember. <laughs> You know, Honey Buns has hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, a cat with hands. Percival has you you might notice that Percival is has a bow over his back. Yes. Oh yeah, Tort Tort has big sword. Alright, big sword. I don't know what I have. Book it has a book. <laughs> Good job, Book it. The power of words. It's fitting. I have. I have I, Milo has a. Milo has a regular old sword and also a few different, uh, cool knives. Something knife, wood cutting knife, whatever. <laughs> General. Knife. Yes, that too is very important for the woods. To spread the butter. <laughs> <laughs> of which there is a lot of in the forest. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun. So where's this where's this white tail guy we're gonna go see? Do, do you do you remember Book It? I I don't where did they say he was? He was in the, the town, town, town center, center, the lady said. Ah, Who are we referring gotcha. to? Uh, we're, white we're, white oh, tail. We're yeah. calico. Old old man white tail. Oh there's the there. Keep your eyes out for an old oh, cat with a white tail. We've been there might be calicos what? here, and, and if there I've are, I'm going to get them. Because of rumors that, cal that a band of calicos has been spotted in the area, I'm just here to scout out and collect information. Like, I'd like to look at the two, my two companions, uh, Lionel and Percival, the ones who are afraid for their lives, and be like, isn't that so cool, guys? There's calicos! <laughs> Yeah, I know, like, right? We're gonna get a fight. Some nods, trying to smile. <laughs> I, I, like, I like this man. I point at Tort. Like, yes. I like you too, buddy. Oh. <laughs> now there's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's, I love there's six of us, though, right? He starts like counting on his paws. <laughs> little little <laughs> beans, like, are there six of us? <laughs> I think so. There's enough of us. It appears that there are six of us. Uh, oh, okay, so, I so. Wasn't mistaken. So, hey, white paw, or white tail, you, right? Um, you notice that there's six knights gathering around and they're shouting about calicos and stuff? <laughs> 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 okay, just, like, every time anyone yells, yells calicos. 
it just face palming just farther. <laughs> face palming just farther and farther. Uh, like all the cats assume, like, every time they hear this little calico and, like, laugh excitedly, they just all, like, go into their little huts. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably calling you part of the scene. It's supposed to be a covert mission. <laughs> yes, there are lots of uh, alarmed um, villagers looking at you and whispering, like, oh my god, there's calicos here. We're all going to die. Um, <laughs> What's and... a covert? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And um, a little. Mouth and close a bit. <laughs> A little old sh- shriveled cat. Shriveled. Purple <laughs> <laughs> like raisin. She's all. <laughs> just looks at her. He's all... like, he's like, ma'am, um, please don't, don't take my <laughs> companions seriously. This, they don't know what they're talking about. Those are all. He says. I don't know who this woman is you're talking to. <laughs> we'll pause on his hips. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but what are you talking about shouting about calicos? Have you seen any? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Gosh darn. Keep your voices down, you're scaring everyone. Well never never mind about seeing calicos. We we don't actually know any much about that we've only been sent here to investigate if anything's actually happened so have there been any strange occurrences lately or any attacks or even just thefts going around uh there anything was all? there was something missing strange. any food or earl uh any feeding some information to you anywhere? there was there was a, a the only strange thing was like a black cat that came by a while back, but other than that, oh, they're they're unlucky. <laughs> oh, a bad oh. omen! Well, mm. this black cat was skulking around here. How long That's ago now. was that? Percival they... is going to start scanning the area around us. So that's a perception. What do uh... I roll, or do I roll? <laughs> Question. Uh, I I don't think there's gonna be anything like extremely difficult to perceive around here currently. It's you know it's 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 a uh, late kind of evening. Uh, there's just people. It's just all these like uh, cats that are kind of scared about you yelling about calicos. There's the old man in front of you. Um, there's um there what let me let me check my my notes that Ursula's <laughs> texting me secretly. Uh there there's there is one cat, he's uh an orange cat, and he's he's not shied away at this point. Like he's just leaned back on like uh ag- against like a little house. You know, there's it's 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 a small village, guys. He's leaning against the house and he's like sussing you guys out. Percival Before is go. going to nudge the nearest person who is probably Lionel and just like subtly point over Before to Before we go ask about the orange cat, I wanna know I wanna know more about the, the black cat. So I asked uh I asked old man Whitetail, um uh, you know, was there anything suspicious about this black cat? Did he like just come in through town, or or what? Did he did he bring off any red flags, whatever? Um. Anything weird about him? Well, you know, um, he's he. He's Sorry, yeah. He's the that black cat. He was real close with the Wildlanders. Mm. Mm, I have Wildlander Wildland expertise. Could I like roll for that to um for learning? I too have Wildlander knowledge. What are you trying to find out? And, yeah, what are you trying to find uh, out specifically? Good question. 
Um, I want to see if, if I can remember any like anything about the Wildlands where, like, oh, okay. if any any anybody out there like would have known a, like a black cat, or if I if I have even seen or met a, a black cat recently. Oh, okay, so like, <laughs> you're. Right, sorry. Uh, would that be like Landers. focus, right? Yeah, because yeah, would that be recalling information? Yeah, I gotta help AZ with like the math right now. Um, so what would what... I roll for that? Um, D nine, right? Yeah, you'd roll a D nine and then it... you add your focus. I... Add your focus, okay, so... and then the wild plant. I, I got, focus. I got a five. So okay. then I, five and total. What... So. What's Probably AZ's focus? Sorry, I just got a total is, five plus your focus a... or five just on yeah, your my, fo my focus is three and I rolled a two, so I oh, have a five. five. And you have Wildlander expertise, right? Or Wildland knowledge? Yeah. Yes, and I'm also Wildland savvy. Okay, Wildland savvy. I don't have I don't my remember, player but... guide open. I'm a fool. Uh, I have it open. Let me see. I should open up the player guide too. Yeah, try um, and have have your attributes like at least like write what they do. So yeah, sa yeah, I savvy. Yeah, do that later. Yeah, no problem. Have, it's fine. Yeah, savvy is plus one charisma when doing a charisma check against wildlanders, so that's not for right now. Uh yeah, no, that wouldn't be it. Wildland knowledge, I think, is the one. Yeah, if you have that. Yeah. So then with. That one, okay, I get a plus two for um for focus, so then I would get, get a seven. Okay. For um thinking about if I if I know anyone who knows a black cat. So you got a seven. Uh you you don't really know tons about the wildlanders around here like i think you were deeper in the woods so you don't really know tons yeah. about meadowers um you know that there's some dangerous ones but around here but they're not like as bad as they'd be like further out yeah yeah you, yeah you, you have a general sense of that i think okay do we want to ask the old old white tail guy anything else before we go to the orange cat? Well, I don't think that here? did Philo notice that there was the orange cat? Probably not. Oh. I think it was just Lionel and Percival who Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I noticed and then I nudged Lionel. Um I'm going to almost fell over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to speak up though and be like So who's that orange cat over there? <laughs> Old white tail scowls and he goes, "Oh, that's the oh shoot, gotta remember their name. <laughs> that's, the... that's the pigeon pluckers. Oh, can't stand those that family. Oh, it's a family. Excuse me, sir. Do they pluck pigeons? Well, they. Of course they do. <laughs> of course they. Who do. hasn't plucked a pigeon? They're pigeon farmers." <laughs> Obviously. Very interesting about them. Yeah. You particularly fond of them. No, they're they just you know, they they also talk with wildlanders. I I don't understand that. Cats who talk with wildlanders. There's what's there to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Percival nod. It's beneath cats. <laughs> Do you know if they, by any chance, some of my not, best friends are wildlanders? Sorry, what did you say? They do. Uh, do you know if they would know the black cat, or if they talked to the same people? Well, I wouldn't they be might. surprised if they were. They're not people, honey buns. They're wildlanders. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm sorry, I did not get out much. <laughs> Is Don't see many wildlanders around the capital. The orange cat, very quietly, but also not trying to hide. I would, I also, would his name's like, Pumpkin. His name is Pumpkin. 
pigeon oh, plucker. Right. Okay. <laughs> like, I'd like to ask one last thing to Mr. Old Whitetail. I'd be like, lean in real close and be like, Excuse me, sir. Uh, have you seen any mythical <laughs> animals of any sort? You know, any the wild letters may have been hiding. Any little animals? And I, I nudge Honey Great. Buns and I'm like, hey, we're on official business. You got to keep a clear head here. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, stay I'm focused please. on things that I can beat up. Uh, this sorry, is sorry. why you can't come home. That's for after hours. <laughs> Percival is going to, after getting a bit closer, look over at that orange cat again. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're looking at the orange cat. <laughs> yeah. You gonna say anything? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still fairly far away. Just <laughs> He's crowding like, at you. Standing like... right next to him. <laughs> He's like, why are you coming over here? Giving you a weird look? <laughs> has has, has Philo noticed, noticed that, that like, like Lionel and Percival are just staring off somewhere? Oh like, no, I've left. <laughs> through through <laughs> them, have I Would anyone have noticed the that, like, that this cat is here? Sorry, well, what? I mean, would anyone have noticed that like that Percival has like walked off? Yeah. I, I am that, like, very quiet on my feet. <laughs> Look at his like taking just way too detailed notes. Like <laughs> really focused. Philo looks at Book and is and is like, now this guy's doing his job. I'd, I'd like to Honey uh... Buns over here is looking for catnip. I like to turn to Lionel look, this one has this one this one has spots, Lionel. Look at it. <laughs> I would like to clarify that my job is not to take notes. My job is to is to use my sword, and we haven't had an opportunity for that yet. But Booket is doing great, I agree. <laughs> Percival is gonna, like, take a deep breath and then, like, walk over to the just directly or over to the orange cat trying to act strong. <laughs> so, uh, like, going. The, the orange cat straightens up a bit and try, tries to <laughs> also look strong. <laughs> to be fair, Percival is very contest. small for a cat. <laughs> small bead. Um, once Percival gets there, he's just going to be like, hello, good day. Good day. Can I help you with something? So, we've been sent to look into some events that may have happened here. Right. What sort of events? <laughs> yeah, what sort? First of all, just pauses for a minute and then just like, <laughs> that is something I cannot disclose. Um, he then or, continues. Are you here from the Empire? First of all, not. the capital, I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in the Empire. Yeah, you're right. Are you from the capital? First of all, not, yes. What's someone from the capital doing all the way out here? Like I said, we're investigating some events. So... Right. We events. have heard you that you speak with... Um, the Wildlanders at times, and I was wondering if they might have any information on these events. So, uh, well, I mean, you know, we sometimes see Wildlanders out around here, but, you know, I'm not, I, w I wouldn't know where to direct you. To talk to one, really. I see. He, I see. He, look, he looks a little nervous talking about this. Excuse Percival me. Nod. Um, <laughs> oh. Does Percival have any money? <laughs> Ch Charlie is gone. Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. 
Could I could I ask real quick, just like for lore, like what are wildlanders exactly? Uh, wildlanders are any other, other like anthro animal that aren't cats. So there's okay. and they're like any Canadian wildlife that isn't like a a deer, like a hooved animal. So like wolves. Okay, so mice. Would it be in the realm of possibility for Philo to have like interacted and in, or like traded or dealt with uh, wildlanders? Oh yeah, way? yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, that's probably why so, you uh, have some knowledge go? on it. Yeah, yeah. Where did Shirley go? All right, <laughs> where were we? Is everyone back? Um. Oh wait. Oh yeah. yeah. I should make sure that. Well, I Percival had money. <laughs> Finished taking down the birth. Yeah, Percival probably has some money. This, in this village, and is fine walking over All to right. everyone else around. So, yeah. what, what did what did the orange cat just finish saying to Percival with Lionel? Wait, yeah, is, is everyone else over? Honestly, I thought just only me. Percival was over there. I'm so confused. Oh, Percival. Oh, yeah. I'm not approaching. Only me. <laughs> We shouldn't all approach one dude. I'll have more maps <laughs> yeah, next it's... time since this isn't the main campaign, so. Um, um so the orange cat um was looking nervous. Right? Pigeon plucker. Yeah, he was he's looking nervous. He's like, Oh, I don't really talk to wildlanders, like I wouldn't be able to direct you to one, right? Yeah. Is is there a check to see if he's lying? Um, is there? Hmm. I mean, like, wouldn't that be like a focus? Or not? Not a focus. Perception. Yeah. Or, uh, or I yeah, have. A, I have perception, a perception. Definitely. Yeah, it'd be a perception, probably. All right. Okay. Let me do that. Let's go. I should tell Ursula. Thirteen. Oh shit, Ursula! Eighteen <laughs> is the the max for like any check. So that's yeah. I have nine perception. Yeah. So oh God, okay. <laughs> for your Not for your understanding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So you can you can kind of tell that like, uh, he's nervous. He like can't look you in the eye. It's very likely that he's he's lying about this. Percival just nods and he says, "No, don't get me wrong. We're not." We're not out. we're not out Get to out. fight anyone or anything. <laughs> we're just looking for information here. Sorry, there was a nine point Any night at my foot. Information we can get would be good, even if it's from wildlanders. <laughs> sorry, Lear started. Lear is revolting. Okay, sorry. Okay. He wants to be part of the campaign. Um, <laughs> uh, so, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I just said, we're not here to hurt people right now. That's the last thing he says. <laughs> He's like, okay, well, you know, I haven't talked to any of them, but we've definitely had some wildlanders around. Like, you know, like the really unsavory sort. It's not like the mice or the voles. They're, you know, they they don't bother us, but there's been some, like, you know, some really dangerous ones around. You know, the kinds of, like, you know, the big teeth. Ugh. So yeah, so I mean, I've seen them like kind of skulking around like the outskirts of town. Um, but, you know, you know, keep asking around. Maybe maybe someone else has seen more of them. Um, I would like to to do a perception check to see if there's anyone. But you're not. Is you're not in the conversation. I know. I know. Just like from where where I am, I just want to look around. For anyone, I can. Um, well, I, I, one asking. one thing, okay. Um, I just would like to mention this, that it is it is getting close to nighttime, and you guys haven't, you know, you've been traveling a long way. It'd be nice to find somewhere to stay. Um, now this is a small town, so you're not gonna find like a, a like a big inn or like a tavern or something like that, but. You likely could find like some villagers to stay with, and they'd feed you if you make some friends. I would. I would like to. Lionel, where are you? I'm here. So that should be on your okay. docket. And oh, you can just to go like... up to to any peasant and be like, "Keep us." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Give us okay. your food. 
<laughs> we should do that. Couch. I'd like to I'd like to stay with the shadiest people I could find. Well, the orange one is shady. <laughs> but is he the shadiest? Is is the um, is the old white tail dude still around? He's still <laughs> he's still standing with you. Like is he? What's what's his his role? Is he like the mayor or or what? Does he any know anyone who could could possibly like give us shelter? I don't know. You could ask him. It might. Hey, be hey, white tail. That Percival is no longer with you guys. <laughs> yeah, just gone. Hey, where where did Percival go? Where that where that guy go? Bye, Percival. Little cat there? man. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? I thought that was you for a moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mr. White, I would like to know the 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 most um, you know, unsavory of this town are. I would like to, to stay with them. <laughs> I don't care how un how unsavory they are. I just want a place to sleep. Or I don't care. I can sleep outside. I have uh, that one. It I'm an outdoor me. cat, so I'd like to go somewhere where they can just feed us. We can just go ask anyone. <laughs> Please stop bothering people. Look, it has been reminded about sleeping, and does ask white old white tail like, is, "Do you know of anyone who could accommodate us for tonight?" Or he just goes, "Me, just me." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, or if <laughs> or if White Tail's feeling accommodating, then yeah. He, uh, White Tail goes well. If you're looking for someone unsavory, I definitely talk to those pigeon pluckers. But I mean, if they're the most unsavory, I'll settle. I'm up. not staying with the pigeon pluckers. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, the Muffin family is always taking nights in whenever they come through. Oh, they so lovely. Them. Thank you. Oh, muffin family. Let's I stay with the muffins. <laughs> I would like to grab Lionel by the arm and maybe like tug him in the direction of the pigeon pluckers. Uh... <laughs> anyway. I'd like to meet the muffin family. Uh, they they no. seem like a nice sort who might uh Tort if they're a respectable family, they family. probably know people. <sighs> Percival right. is going to like to finish up that conversation. He's just gonna nod slowly <laughs> and then say, I'm gonna be keeping watch here for a bit and just stay. <laughs> just stand in there. <laughs> and um, we're we're anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many goes like Okay, I'll, I'll put on my, my official voice and I say, Hello, I am Night Lionel Bird Murderer. This is who, who my are you brother. Talking to? <laughs> Night Honey Buns Bird Murderer. <laughs> we require a place to stay for the night. Who are you talking to? The orange cat. Oh, the orange cat. The pigeon plucker. Pigeon plucker. Personal <laughs> just want to jump slightly at hearing you guys. <laughs> Pigeon plucker sounds like an insult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Bird murderer, though. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bird murderer. We <laughs> love it. By the way, our last name um, is Bird Murderer. What? I hope yeah. there are not like no bird people in this world. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No. You um, notice that. Um, his next door neighbor, uh, pigeon pluckers neighbor, you know it's a little far, but not, but because there's like a farm between them, a little bit, a little bit of that going on, uh, but his neighbor is just staring at you. Um, <laughs> she's she's a, a a tortoiseshell cat. She's she's got her official like little little tortoiseshell badge. She, she's definitely not a calico. <laughs> but she is just staring oh. at you guys. Like so she doesn't look shocked. She looks like really excited. Oh. See see some nights. Does Percival oh. notice this? Um if you're close enough to uh the the um pigeon plucker, you can you can see her. She is 
she's vibing. Is this specifically okay. at the farm now? Hmm? Yeah, who's it... who's Yeah, I need a map next time, but <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think uh Lionel, Honey Buns, and Percival are over by Pigeon Plucker and Tor- The others are going to muffins. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, no, no weren't you guys party. still with Whitetail? Well, we were, but I thought we had started to head off towards the Muffin family. Oh, okay. okay. Like, yeah, Whitetail hasn't we told us where the Muffin out. family are yet. <laughs> well, Tord has started walking. He doesn't know where he's going, but he's started walking. <laughs> All under the smell. Milo's just kind of looking at Tord like these these city cats. I I don't get them. <laughs> and um, so I I, uh, like, uh, I, I asked city old, cats about old White. <laughs> I asked Whitetail, uh, where where is the Muffin family? Uh, we he, could go and ask them. He points toward the the excited looking Tordy <laughs> 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 on the farm over and says, You'll know her when you see her. <laughs> so I, I walk walk over, grab Tort by the scruff and start dragging them over towards that direction. <laughs> Tort will Tort will like just like kinda let this happen. He's <laughs> like, oh, we're going this way. <laughs> Bones, the little tortoise shell thing means that because some cats they get white as they go on, so it looks like they're tricolor, but they're not actually. Yeah. So the uh, the empire will um, keep records on this. You know, you could look up her badge if you're sus on her. Take her to the capital. Oh, you know? also. Um... If, if like Bucket it. is not following already, then uh, uh, Tork's gonna like grab Bucket by the scruff as they pass by. <laughs> <laughs> the little trick. So I am I am pulling Tork and Bucket like behind me on the way to <laughs> go look for the the Muffin family. Yes, we're going. Over Are you sure this. you don't want to to stay with the Muffin family? You you two. Oh, hey, they I'm might here. have muffins. Okay, Fine. I'm not gonna well, pass no, that no, up. No, 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 not, not us. The, the I'm sure. I'm sure. And I'm sure. They're going to stay with the muffins, and the muffins are accommodating tonight, allegedly. Uh, also, <laughs> if we if um, we split up, then that's a chance to gather more information. It's true. Um, so that's what Philo's is, thinking. I, I would like to ask Mr. Pigeon Pigeon Plucker if he'd be all right. And just like stare at him with my eyes. <laughs> he had a real funny. talk about it. Percival is going to like look over at him and be like, oh, that is a good point. We do need somewhere to stay. Would you be willing to accommodate us for the night? Oh, I like can leave. He says, oh, we've got a new kitten. You wouldn't want to stay with us. Um, no, that's fine. We, you know, our neighbors, oh. they love taking in nights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, they sound nice. I do, Let's I do. stay with them. Book it here's new kitten and just goes baby, but then it's like, no, I don't want to stay with you guys though. <laughs> <laughs> Philo is also dragging you off, so so you can't, you can't really. Percival yeah. <laughs> like narrows his eyes a little bit, then shrugs and starts heading off towards the muffin people. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what, what was the name of the person that uh, of the muffin? Person, cat, we were supposed to be looking for. She's a tortie. We don't know her first name yet. Oh, well, I'm I'm yeah. looking for a tortoise shell shell cat. She's waving yeah. at you guys. She, she is, is like, so excited. She's like, come here, come here. <laughs> oh, Tort, yeah. I walk. I walk. I walk up to her, dragging bucket and and tort behind me. There's a dust trail, all <laughs> billowing. <laughs> As I drag them in the in the dirt road, um, and I raise my hand up and I say, uh, "Hail, are you the the muffin family? Are you, <laughs> are, you are you the the muffin clan?" Personal yes. gonna like kind of get there at this point. <laughs> yeah, we we emerge through the dust. <laughs> <laughs> um. um. She's like, yes, I'm Mrs. Muffin. Please, I love having nights. I'm so excited to have you here. Please, like, come in. We're we're just putting on supper. 
Oh, we have lots. We're happy to share with you. You know, I just love when knights visit. It, it, it's my favorite time ever. Oh, that's I, awesome. Philo, Philo a horde his grip on on oh. on the scruffs, dropping uh, book it in and tor. <laughs> Um, I um, say that's that's very that's very kind of you. I appreciate hospitality. Uh, um, as you're talking to her, a horde of little tortoiseshell kittens. Uh, oh. They they all come out. And there's like five of them. The youngest is like six. <laughs> there Philo, you go. Philo is very Philo is very amused. Like uh amused by that he's just like oh look at look at you guys <laughs> and i ruffle up, like, ruffle their like their their, little, like their furry heads i check the kittens for badges <laughs> Thor's gonna like try to like um try to be like the same height as the kittens but he's not he's not gonna get all the way down there like you have to probably lie down he's too large Thor's mrs muffins is very excited to show you every single one of their badges lionel she's Yes. Okay. She's like, she, I have the perfect. paperwork too. If you want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm like, no, thank you. That's fine. But I do miss <laughs> looking at paperwork. So the temptation was there. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what it means. I can't read, but I know it's official. <laughs> okay, that's very good. Thank you. I know. Yeah. Hello, thanks, uh, thanks oh the thanks the the lady lady muffin. I already forgot her name. If we were given her name, Mrs. Um, Mrs. Muffin, Mrs. Muffin. Yeah. Mrs. Muffin, and he says we, um, we'll we'll, we'll repay you any way we can. But we we appreciate being given the uh, place to stay tonight. Thank you. Oh, you don't need to do anything. We're happy to have you. She assures you over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because our repayment is our service to the Empire. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Mean, meanwhile, like the meanwhile the <laughs> Philo's stomach starts to growl. He's been on the road all day. Um. Yeah, her husband's off making some merchant sales or whatever, so there's plenty of space. You know, are the kittens amused by Tort's funny faces? Oh, a hundred percent. Yes, <laughs> all over you. <laughs> they want to see your swords. Yes, yes. <laughs> Tort will. Tort shows the sword, shows it off. They're just like, like shows how high can like lift it up and like does some like fancy kind of like. And they're all completely kind of, sparkly. Kind of kind of scolds about this. Tort, Tort a little bit and is like, "Hey, you got to be careful with that around these kids here." They, they, they don't know what's what about knife safety. <laughs> Tort like thinks for a minute and is like, "You're right. They probably don't." <laughs> He's gonna put the sword away. <laughs> They're all really all disappointed. disappointed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, he's, so he's gonna like kind of like take this sword in its sheath and like show it to them to try and, like <laughs> a consolation prize. Sorry, also, are you trying to say something? Yes, I'd like to go to book it and be like, "Excuse me, the the the, the pigeon plucker man. He seems." Odd. You cut out. <laughs> the the pigeon plucker man. He seems odd. That's that orange cat you were, who's next door. Yes. That first bull. He lied about knowing wildlanders, and didn't want us to stay with him. My hmm. feelings are. You guys know about the lying to about seeing what blessers. Oh, yeah, I don't think they do, but I'll mention it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because, like, hmm, it's not, not unusual for some cats to not like us knights knowing that they associate with the Wildlanders. Hmm. I did say that they had a new kitten. I'm not sure if that's weird. <laughs> Is it Mrs. Muffin is like, oh, their kitten is adorable. No, oh. normal, normal cats tend to have have families, honey buns. <laughs> normal cats, unlike you. <laughs> oh, 
They don't run away from home. <laughs> <laughs> what are you implying? Wait. <laughs> I suppose Pokemon is like, I suppose we, we can go and talk to them in the morning. Maybe they'll have a change of heart about it. Yeah. I was going to yeah, you know. go Sleep. off of his back and just like lean it up against the door or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'm satisfied with this information. So yeah, uh, Mrs. Muffins sets up spaces for you. The mini muffins are gonna have to sleep on the floor. <laughs> um, the mini muffins. <laughs> <love that>. <laughs> <laughs> um, Percival asks for if but they make as like, much space as they can. Percival asks if um he can sleep with a window facing the um, pigeon pluckers house. Do they have windows? Or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they've got like little, okay. little cutouts in there. I don't know, they're peasants. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. of like <laughs> glass. <laughs> oh yeah, they don't have glass. Air, yeah, they're yeah, I was thinking open air, don't worry. <laughs> no, I um... think they have glass windows. <laughs> Stained glass, the, the most, the finest of, of glass windows. <laughs> yes, their lord treats them well. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Muffin says, "Oh, sure, we could, we could move one of the cots against the, against the window. Sure." And she gets all the kids that would to. Be lovely, thank you. <laughs> to the mini muffins. Over. Sorry, the mini muffins. I was offered because I feel bad that they're sleeping on the floor. Sorry, what did you offer? The mini muffins wanted to sleep in the bed that I was given because I feel bad they're sleeping on the floor. Philo does not feel bad about taking a bed because he has a bad back. <laughs> and he needs one. Honestly, Tort, sleep, um, if, sleep if that was book, the... book, it's just like I am old. I... Tort might be too big for the beds anyway, so he would also probably offer to sleep on the floor if there's not enough room in the one bed for the mini muffins. <laughs> Because Tort's like, I might break this. <laughs> um, Mrs. Muffins makes a fuss, and she's like, oh, no, they're used to it, it's fine. And... <laughs> oh, <they're... laughs> I, I can, um, but I don't want to break your bed. But I'm, you, you can see I'm, I'm very, I'm a big cat, I, I weigh a lot. <laughs> I, I could share a bed with Lionel, Lionel loves cuddling with me, right, Lionel? Oh no. <laughs> um, meanwhile, Philo is he's taking like his his sword and off and stuff and he's getting he's getting comfortable and he looks at Mrs. Muffin and he's like um yes, yeah, sorry to be to get in your way again, but I actually had a couple of questions. It's why we're here. I was wondering if I could uh a ask you you know a few questions about um um yeah so have there been any you know any strange attacks or thefts or strange sightings anything anything of all at all that would be noteworthy that has been cause for concern some wildlanders passing through um Wildlanders, all right. Um, we we get them through here sometimes since we're so close to the the meadows, but um, yeah, there's been more of them recently going through. Yeah. Where are from? Going? Where where the, do you know where they've come from, or or where they've gone, or were they just passing through, or were they here to do business? sure what they were up to but a, a couple of them went um with uh some caravans over to the you know a, f a few towns over um and came back hmm. and they they didn't cause any trouble or anything um or... it'd be good we also for heard you to... there was a black cat that came around uh az because you have uh, wildlander yeah. knowledge you could ask her what they kind of look like, and you probably would be yeah. able to tell what kind yeah, of I'm a, creature they are. I know some of the yeah, I know some of the wildlanders in this area. What did what did they look like? Did you catch any of their names by chance? 
Oh, I didn't talk to any of them. They they look too frightening, but um uh, they had orange fur. They were they were a little taller than, you know, your average cat. Um they had long fluffy tails. Um these terrifying eyes. Ugh. I will. Philo runs his like. runs his paw through his big through through his fluffy mane of fur and thinks about it. And let's see. I'm rolling. Let's see. Hold on a second. I have to do. I have to look at my. I think it's focus. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So in total for wildland expertise, I roll a fifteen. Oh yeah. You instantly know that sounds like foxes. Um, foxes. Yeah, Sound red, like foxes. Red can I, foxes. Can I roll to like from hearing that? Can I assess threat level? <laughs> still? Um, well, what do I what do I know about? What is this? Last I have threat? wildlander knowledge as well. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can assess the threat level. Sweet. Okay. Like other than just knowing, ah, oh, those are foxes. Do I know like anything else about them? You you'd know a, a fair bit about them. They're like they tend to like go alone. Usually, 12. they'll sometimes have a family. Oh, okay, yeah, twelve. Yeah, you guys would know a fair bit about foxes. Like they're pretty dangerous. They're not the most dangerous thing. Um, you'd find in the wildlands. Like a cat could probably take one. Have they have they been known to have any like dealings with calicos or or anything like that? Um or would they be helpful to toward them or what? They will do most things for money. Like they don't really care. They don't care what a calico is or it's just yeah. a, another cat to them. Um but if there's money involved they'll do it. They they sometimes like will steal things from people's houses and like do break-ins and stuff um I, is going I, to go get his bow from by the door and slide it under the well slide it like next to where he's going to be sleeping philo looks philo looks at the rest of the party and is like well mate that could be a lead maybe we could try to track down these foxes and see if they know anything else because they they get around a bit more than these you know village cats here. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Any lead is a good lead. Um, one, one more thing, Mrs. Muffin. Um, sorry to bother you, but could you please leave leave the candles lit overnight? Oh, um. Of, oh, of yeah. You definitely have the hearth lit. Like you know, it'll get cold yeah. at night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> We'll keep it nice and warm for you nights. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. nice and warm and and bright. <laughs> I like to be really loud about this and say, "You see, my brother here is afraid of the dark." No, <laughs> I'm not. I am a knight. <laughs> Sorry, PK. What? Okay, it wants to get wants to see if the mini muffins just see what the mini muffins think about stuff. <laughs> just about stuff. You know, who, you know who tells the truth? Drunks and children. Oh yeah, kids. Have you seen I... anything strange? You know, any any unusual? You know, uh, people, cat, cats. Uh, you know, anything like that. I think um, the the oldest mini muffin <laughs> will. Um... Be like, well, you know, I saw the foxes hanging around the pigeon plucker's place. Like hmm. the Mr. Oh, pigeon plucker yeah. was talking with them and talking with them, and they seemed really mad. Do we know? Which one? Sorry, <laughs> Percival is once again listening very closely. <laughs> Tort is already asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who was mad at who? Could you say that again? Oh. Uh, the... Who, who was... 
the uh, pig- uh, Mr. Pigeon Plucker was mad at the foxes. Oh, okay. I like to go to book it and be like, book it, book it. He had said that he didn't converse with any of them. I told you they, that many peop- many cats don't like letting us knights know that they associate with the Wildlanders. I assumed it was a lie, but now we have confirmation. Well, tomorrow after we get lie. some sleep, <laughs> we could, we could ask, ask Pigeon Plucker about the, the foxes that, that passed in passed through. He's something else in the house, and that's why he didn't want to let us stay. Just making up excuses as to why he wouldn't want to let me stay. <laughs> I bet there is no new baby. <laughs> Didn't no, Mrs. Muffin's there was a new baby. <laughs> <laughs> Muffin isn't on it. I'm joking. That is out of no. no, please. Miss Muffin's like, oh no, I would never do anything illegal. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's right there, please. <laughs> it's a small house. <laughs> what? Sorry, what did you say, Mel? I said I thought for some reason I thought she left the room. But oh no, just... there's it's one room. Sorry, I should have explained. Yeah, yeah. It's a small house. Peasants. <laughs> maybe maybe we should we should talk about this later as to not upset the mini ones. <laughs> what did the you call muffins? my children? <laughs> <laughs> the mini muffins are like, no, we want to hear about night stuff. <laughs> I can teach you about night like... stuff. I, I take out my... Philo, Philo puts his big paws on his hips and puffs out his chest, and he's like, I got some some ranger stories for you, kittens. No, these gather, children gather around. learn about the procedures of law. Philo <laughs> regales the, the mini muffins with tales of his time as a ranger. Uh, roll charisma, go. actually. You're not well, very charismatic. Cra- 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 charismatic. <laughs> no, yeah, that one. He has a charisma of two, so he probably yeah. just scares Let, them. L- yeah, roll, roll, <laughs> roll your charisma. Let's see. Lionel. Or, the, or they, he tells them a story and they don't even believe him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> roll a nine, a, a d nine, and add all right. Your thing. Let's see we'll if see. I can impress these kids. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I rolled two um, because. A zero That's charisma. Like, no, that I... you're not telling a story though, Mal. Zero charisma. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm I have looking. two as well. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. Um, Tort has. Um, I rolled a nine, but I'm charisma, unconvincing. But so that is like a minus two, right? Oh, minus three. So like, <laughs> yeah, they don't buy a word that I say. A little invest. Like a six isn't so bad. It's kind of average. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're okay with that. They're, they're, it's not the most he exciting have delivery. Is, yeah. Is all. He doesn't have great. His timings off. <laughs> they're like they're a little confused by some aspects of it. Like you're not great at explaining, and you know. Yeah. yeah. But overall, they, they find it interesting. I bet. They want. Yeah. To they're children. They're right. a lot. It's a lower <laughs> bar. <laughs> I will teach these children the procedures of law. <laughs> are like, you going to do um, that, Lionel? Do you want to teach yeah, them? So okay, uh, Percival, roll charisma. Not Percival, sorry. Uh, Lionel. Okay. Give me your charisma roll on this one. Let's see if you uh, can engross one. the children. One, one. plus two. <laughs> <laughs> they are incredibly <laughs> bored and they want nothing to do with this like they will talk to literally anyone else <laughs> I'd say well, I'm used to it like I love seeing how much that they are have been unable to entertain these small children <laughs> it's just feeling a little bit mm, okay I, maybe it's time for bed now yeah the kittens that <laughs> do I'm listen to Lionel we like, really like liked... because everyone was telling stories, and he's like, he was he, his story senses were tingling while he was asleep. He was like, the kittens that were story. listening to uh, Lionel have have passed out from boredom. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Yes, that's what I what I meant to do. Obviously, <laughs> Tor will go back to sleep a little bit upset that he missed story time. He wanted to hear them too. Oh, really? Want to... the cow if actually oh. convince them cows? Okay, roll charisma. Let's see if you can convince these kids of cows. 
the ones that <laughs> remain awake. I'll teach Tor got... about procedure of law. Tor, got... Tor listens and he's very confused. <laughs> what did you get? I either got a six or a nine. I'm gonna guess it's a six. Okay. Oh yeah, they, then... they're. Oh wait, do you have any like modifiers you have to look at? Or is it just a six? Got the six. Yeah, th they're a little intrigued, but it sounds fake. Like, you know, they've heard silly stories before. Can I tell them a fun story now that, like, I'm awake and, like... Yes, you may tell them a fun story. Okay. Roll your I'm gonna charisma. Tell them a story because, like, Tort just, like, he, Tort is like, oh, oh, no one's talking to the children. I must, I must talk to the children. I, I'm totally not confused by what you're saying right now, Lionel. <laughs> like, I'm totally invested in what you're you're telling me, but I have to entertain the kids. Yeah, you this cut in. Roll charisma. <laughs> Let me see. What do you get? Let me see. Um, okay, so that's um, okay. So that's thirteen, and then uh, is. Let me see if this this affects anything. I can't. I don't know if it does, but I don't think it does. Where is it? Where are all the things? Attributes. Uh, oh, oh, okay, so I get plus one, so that's a 14 then. Oh, yeah, the minute, like, you start talking, they ignore everyone else and are completely <laughs> engrossed with your night stories. <laughs> Chocolate is, is happy with this. Yeah. He, he's, he, he likes to tell stories. They, they're they so engrossed, they listen to you until they, like, can't even stay awake anymore. Percival yeah. is going to, like kind of lean out the window just looking over at the um pigeon pluckers uh scanning okay so you want to roll perception on that okay i have both night vision and sharp eyes <laughs> okay well. <laughs> uh it'd be night vision because it's at okay. night yeah it's, it's dark now okay five plus nine plus Sixteen. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, what do you see? Um. Sorry, just gotta think if there's anything going on in there right now. Um. The it looks like Mr. Uh, Pigeon Plucker is still awake and he like keeps looking out his windows. Um, he's staring at eye contact, like he, he's looking like he, he doesn't notice you, he's just like he seems on edge, mm. look, looking about, like all maybe shifty, pacing like. through his front yard, yeah, yeah. He he puts he puts up a little like uh, cover on his windows like he's he he uh, seems really nervous. Sneaky sneaky. Yeah. Does anyone else have anything they want to do before they pass out? Um, I think <laughs> Philo just looks at Percival and like sees that he's looking out the window and just like confirms like, hey, you you see anything out there? Anything? suspicious just to get that uh, information so the cat we were talking to earlier I believe he's the head of the pigeon plucker family he is definitely on edge and looking for something and well, also yeah Sounds like that's who we need to talk to tomorrow, since uh, Mrs. Muffin said he, he had a run-in with the foxes. We'll ask him, and probably the one with the highest charisma should do that, which is <laughs> not, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, do we go to bed? Look, it is just old it man is. in bed already. Just Yeah, Philo's ready for bed. Uh, I will need you guys to all roll perception checks. 
Nah, I'm a late oh. sleeper, so I would probably get up in the middle of the night. Yeah, well, I will so keep that. In perception. Yeah. You said to roll perception. Um. Wait, yeah, roll that? perception and put it into the text channel, like what you get. So it's easier Wait, for me to look at them. The nine point one. I forget what's, yeah, what. Yeah, the nine point one. Yeah, stupid perception <laughs> or a stupid not? What is stupid do? <laughs> Yeah, so I can just pull it up. I am rolling too well oh, today. <laughs> Let's see what I get. No, I'm just going to immediately bad. roll poorly for the rest of this. I have oh, nice zero roll. perception, so like, six, is, six isn't bad for zero perception. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, um, sorry. That's everyone, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Percival, in the middle of the night, um, you are awoken immediately, bolt upright. Um, you hear something coming from the direction of the uh, pigeon pluckers. You gonna wake anyone else I'm... up? <laughs> I'm going to look around and judge who I think would be the quietest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're the sleep. Um, um. <laughs> oh, idea. Uh, you have a blue point on your team who can probably see through walls. Good point. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna okay. wake up um, book it okay. and also um, Philo. I'm not waking up Tort. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> or honey bun. I think I think Nana would be quiet. It's just me and Tort that probably wouldn't. In fact, I think Tort would Philo... not be quiet. But if there is a fight to do, you you know who to go to. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm waking up Book It and Philo, and I feel like Lionel should probably stay asleep just to not die of nerves. Uh, <laughs> I'm, in my defense, so... I'm very liquid. Philo <laughs> only has a tube of liquidness, uh, so but yeah. But yeah, I'm seems more tired. But he's wake up those two and like yeah, do the it's equivalent so of like putting a finger up to my mouth to be like quiet. <laughs> Look, it seems to be yeah, fair. Um, I do have six. Like something is up and isn't immediately back into like okay, this is business time. Um. <laughs> Percival is then going to creep up back to the window and look out and see what he can see. Ilo walks, walks, follows behind Percival and just kind of looks over. Percival looks is over like and... standing next to the window, looking out. Uh, what's Bucket doing? Uh, also looking out the window, I guess. Um, through that wall. Yeah, like looking out the window um... specifically through the wall. No, um, no, no. Philo has a strong sniffer part trait. Uh, can he like roll? Oh, to is sniff he awake? Out if anything... Is Philo awake? Yeah, I woke up Philo. Yeah. Oh, Philo's awake. Um, yeah, you could do your strong sniffer. Okay, let's do things okay, in order uh, here. Who's going yeah. first? Like, you would. I, I think PK has to roll focus to use their point, and the others would be perception. All right. I'm gonna add my night vision again. Oh, someone's oh. gone. Oh, they're back. They're back. Okay. Like I said, <laughs> I immediately roll a zero. Okay, but it's <laughs> Wait, okay what happened? I have nine for perception. <laughs> um. Okay, so you were doing like a vision check, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So. So you can see. Um. That well, if they covered the windows, um, I I guess you can see kind of like that there's movement going on inside. Like the lights are kind of changing as like people walk about in there. How like can I see how many? Yeah. So you did a focus check. So what did you get? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Um, 
you would see oh i need okay so there's like um I need to look at things so you'd see a lot of souls going on here there'd be some like dense clusters of souls that are probably cats so you see like three kind of like dense clusters of souls and then you see um three kind of like single souls um also kind of about walking so independently look it is immediately okay. very, very suspicious <laughs> look it's like there's a and lot there's a lot of you souls. got a 15 right yeah for focus yeah like you you would sense that those are probably not cat souls they don't look okay. typical okay then and there and, are um, in oh and okay and one more check was done with the sniffer yeah philo rolls an 11 for to sniff out to see like is there anyone who does not smell like a pigeon plucker or like a cat in general um yes they don't s s you definitely smell something that is not a cat um you could do like a a wildlander check and you probably would identify okay. it okay let me see uh... by the way percival is climbing out the window <laughs> <laughs> so, so you guys are all going alone i see <laughs> yeah um okay so wild, wild yeah wildlander check for 10 10 oh yeah you yeah. smell foxes ah and i look over to look at and lionel or percival and i'm like i smell foxes um percival is kind we... of gonna like motion to the other people on the team and then do we Start go over there? Sneak it across the grass. Being all sneaky. Staying low to the ground and being as okay. quiet as possible. So Percival's heading up. Um and what's book it and oh. Percival uh, did grab book... his bow first. Okay. Book it is like following behind very, very, very cautiously. Okay. And Philo? Um, Philo, Philo is also following behind, but he is not beyond just, he's thinking about just going and knocking at the door and saying, hey, I'm a, I'm a knight. What's going on? But he hasn't done that yet. Oh, so yeah, he's just, he's turn around and just like <laughs> motion towards the house just <laughs> and then turn back to walking. So yeah, I... Philo's listening to see like if anything escalates inside. All right, Percival, how liquid are I'm, you? I motion towards the Muffin House is what I mean. How liquid are you, Percival? Show okay. me. Okay. Let's roll. All right. Let's go. Is that a one or a seven? That's a one. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's plus five plus I have soft paws. So okay. Plus seven. So eight. Uh, eight. Um. So, uh, book it would notice that the souls like stop a moment, like the ones that were kind of moving around, and they pause for a bit, and then they start walking again. I do think book it freezes, but does not do anything to inform anyone else. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're a disaster of a team. <laughs> Your team will have an arc. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's Just up? you left me behind when there's gonna f be fighting happening. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> betrayal. Looking back towards the muffin house, they can, like trying um, to communicate. Okay, everyone back in the house, do a perception check. Let's see if you hear these guys like leaving. I'm not going yeah. to. I have no perception. I have. We'll to see. And someone waking me up. Oh, you never. It's know. fine. I forgot to add my team is last time. Worse than before. Perception is focused, right? Perception is. Got a three this time. That's half what I got last time, okay? What does Lionel get? 
Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to add my my ears last time. <laughs> your big ears. My big ears. The satellites. <laughs> you had your hands over your ears for a bit. It's okay. Your yeah. paws over yeah. your ears. It's okay. I was curled up fetal position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you hear all of them leaving. Like, you wake up, everyone's gone. You can hear them wandering about outside. I like how they oh. left you with <laughs> Do you do anything, Lionel? Wake up, Tort. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What's going on? What are we doing? Um, We're fighting? It's no. <laughs> um, but there appears to be some some of our team missing. Oh, oh, I wonder where they went. You can you can just see. We should have left a note. I I, 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 have... I, I, can, I can hear things happening outside. I like to imagine gonna, like Bucket walk over still, to the window like, when when Bucket noticed all the like them like they stopped moving for a bit like like they may have sensed my teammate Bucket is like just froze with like half a leg out the window. <laughs> oh, is so yeah, I... still in the house? Oh, <laughs> like look, it was falling very, very slowly after, like, like literally. Yeah. Like... Oh, hi, Bucket. You're still going here. On. What's going on out there? Bucket, like, <laughs> do I wake up with the torch yelling, or am I still asleep? Oh, what did you get? You got like a seven. Uh, yeah, with all the yelling, yeah, you'd wake up. To that. Tort, Tort is going to be quiet from this point onwards, though, because Bucket shushed, shushed him. <laughs> yeah. While while Tort was being loud, Percival sped up a bit and then slowed down again. All right. Um. Percival. So, so the stealthy. house has like a like there's like um a window that's facing you that's kind of blocked, and then there's like the door that's like I don't know how to. Like, is there a like there's like a little like west side door and or window? No, it's just the one door. Okay. Don't step on the enemy muffins. Still head towards the back. Yes, okay. Please don't wake up the mini muffins. Port wants to, wants <laughs> to get out there and see what's going on, but Bucket is in the window. <laughs> Percival is just kind of like bouncing from between his feet, like while, like just like looking at Bucket, waiting for Bucket to leave. Ilo is gonna, um, he's just gonna wait by the front door of the pigeon plucker house because he wants, as soon as anyone leaves, he wants to know what was all that, what was all that noise about, as as a knight. Percival is readying <laughs> an arrow, by the way. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no. I so I know where I'm at. So I like to think. So I'm Percival's heading you. up the back. You're going to the back, Percival, of the house. Yeah, I think so. Right, right, space, space. Yes. Yeah. Am I silent? You were for a second. Okay. Am I good now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to the back. I'm readying okay. an arrow. <laughs> um, okay, in the back, there's like a, a window. <laughs> that you can see. Okay. That you could feasibly look through. Could I Has try to move from the window yet? Um, I would. Roll a liquid check on that, actually. Me? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that was better. Okay. Um, that's 12. Okay. You, s you sneak up to the window, and looking through it, you can see... Um, What's uh the Mr. Uh, Pigeon Plucker and what well, you can only assume is Mrs. Pigeon Plucker and there is a very large fox um that is 
brandishing like a sword at them. And uh yeah. <laughs> Percival is going to pause for a moment. <laughs> but keep that arrow ready. Wait, so is the fox threatening them or um Okay. So has good <laughs> Um, Sorry. and Phy Philo wants to do like a smell check to see if he can detect like any like fear pheromones in the air. <laughs> fear to see if anyone's like in <laughs> in danger because he I don't think he can see the sword like being raised towards. Um. Him oh wait, you're in front of the door, right? <laughs> um, yeah, he's waiting, but he just so wants to know what's going on. So through the door, you can see that there are uh, a pair of foxes that are in the pigeon coop. So, like, their house has the pigeon coop in it. And there's these oh. two little foxes that are stuffing pigeons into uh, a bag. Oh, so I can see that? Yes. Okay. Well, then, It's um... hard to hear what's going on through all of the pigeon noises. Milo sees a crime being committed and, like, opens the door. Uh, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he says, "What? What are you? What are you? What are you two wild landers doing?" Um. Okay. Personal can I say something really quick? Point where, if needed, he can just pop up and shoot an arrow and then go back down. <laughs> Am I not being? Can anyone hear me? Oh, sorry. Yes, Am I cool. ignoring you? I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's, I, I just, I wanted to know if, like, if Bucket had moved from the window, because, like, if Bucket hadn't, then, like, probably a little while ago, Tort would have, like, like, taken Bucket and, like, put, put Book, like, aside Book it, and then walked Book through the window. Was still in the window, and... Yeah, where are then, those four? Yeah, yeah Tort Tor would have just, like, lifted Bucket, like, up and then, like, put Bucket to the side of the window, and then Tort went, would go through yeah. the window and just kind of, like, run over. You definitely had to do that. Yeah. So, like, Tord is probably in the process of like running over to the um the pigeon, pigeon plucker's house, because because he's he's he knows things are happening and he wants to be part of them. I guess I'll make sure to take. He's some trying of to be kind of sneaky though. Characters. Would like to follow so what... up and take Lionel with me. So wait, are, you, are you awake though? Yeah, you woke up because I was yelling, right? Um. Wake. Right. Okay. Uh, one sec. I don't want. Not my screen. Um. All right. So, I would like Az to roll liquid, not stealth, just liquid. Liquid. All Let's right. Roll I a nine a on liquid. Two. So let's see. I rolled a oh, no. one. So no, I trip no, over my no. own tail. I roll a th three one, total. A three total? Okay. Um, One second here. As I get my notes. Oh, combat time. <laughs> time. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, is, so everyone's kind of converging on the house now? Yes. Um, for Book it, Book it might not be following. Right. Oh yeah, is, has Book it following? Uh, at this point, yeah. <laughs> Maybe slower than everyone else. Just to be part of it. <laughs> One sec. I forgot my um, dice. Anyone should be okay at combat, just so you guys know. <laughs> that That's fine. Tor 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 um, so what did you roll? Yeah. For liquid, me? Yeah, I rolled a three. Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Um... That's encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really encouraging. Would Tort have gotten there at that point, or no? Tort's still farther away, right? Okay. Um. I need a rinse character sheet, so I'm 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 a mess right now. <laughs> uh, I don't have. 
Oh, I do. Um, okay. Uh, so you. Can you see my lovely little live stream map? Oh, let me let me pull this yes. up. It loading. It loading. There we go. There it is. So, oh my goodness. What, are we, what are we pulling up? I love the live stream. If you click the, if you go into the nine point tabletop oh, I see. channel, yep, okay. and click I on see. the stream. So as you you. AZ, because I didn't have a picture. This is your cat. Um, yeah. as, <laughs> as you enter the... Um, who the fuck is from Essex? Sorry. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Getting, a <phone> call? <laughs> Getting a phone call from Essex. Oh my god. Oh my um, god. <laughs> this is <sorry>. aggressive. <laughs> um, but as you see here, who the fuck... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god don't tell me canada has an essex as well it does we for sure oh, do <laughs> you thieves <laughs> the u.s does too oh anyways god. as you enter after my phone call from essex um as you <laughs> enter a fox is waiting at the door and <laughs> lunges at you um completely taking you off guard um, um, I do have balanced, a balanced perk. Uh, yes, but you were very not liquid at all. You I were was not very not liquid. You were not prepared for this, and so, right. uh, you take. Oh wait. Oh whoa. Uh, seven. HP damage. Um, oh, ooh, okay. that's a lot. Ouch. Oh, yikes. That is a lot. Ooh, that's like half my health. I, th I throw my back out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my back. <laughs> All right. Um, so, oh, my God. Oh my goodness. So yeah, you throw your back out. You can see that there's these um these two young foxes in there, and you can see there's another fox that has the baby kitten in Oh no. In, oh, no. in her possession. Um while uh, a very angry fox is 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 mad at these two. I love that they're like mom, dad, son, and then number one and number two. <laughs> the they're, they're, they're the little daughters. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> they look like, they look kind of young, like, um, they're, they're, they're it's hard around. to tell because you're, you're cats, so you don't really know, but they look younger. They're smaller like, foxes. They're smaller. Their fur looks a different color almost. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so is anyone else coming up on the house? So I've got like. Yes, Tort is Tort. So is coming where up is on the house. Tort like position? Like probably. Um. I'd say like maybe maybe next to the window because isn't there like a straight shot from like the window to the other window? Yeah, like this window, like to look through the. Yeah, he'd probably just thing. kind of like run up and jump through the window. <laughs> Into the water. Okay. Uh, possibly depends depends on if he noticed this. So he's in that him. place. Where is Lionel? Um, wherever the honey buns is going, I guess. <laughs> where's honey buns? Yeah, where's honey um, buns? Towards heading towards the front door. But they were also behind Tort, so. Yeah. Okay, so they like. Where are you? Yeah. And Lionel's with them. And where's Lionel Book? might be behind. Oh, okay. And where's Bucket? Bucket, Bucket was following like, slowly. Yeah, like halfway between <laughs> two windows. Okay, we'll put Bucket here. <laughs> All right. Um. So. Right. 
Do we have to do like an initiative thingy? Yeah, or... we'd have to. Yeah, let's do like initiative to figure out like what order we go in. Yeah. You roll for that. that yeah, happens? roll roll twenty. It's the easiest thing to oh. do. Okay. Oh, so we, what do we roll? Hold yeah, on. just roll a roll of the. Oh damn. Um. Just a regular twenty. Yeah, just a regular twenty. It'll just Hold determine. On. We don't add anything to it. No. Nah. We'll okay. just determine order. Two. Ursula, can you write the three. order down? Oh god, three. Sure. <laughs> what this? I'm so. Uh, the enemy's got a twenty, so. so. God damn it! Philo got a Sparkly three. Dice. He, is, he is down. We're doing great. We really aren't. <laughs> We're not. We're tired. It's late. <laughs> Oh no. Look, it didn't sign up for this. Um, do we add anything to our 20? No. No. We're just figuring out the order of uh who goes. Yeah. It's just oh. simple like Board game rules. Goal. <clears throat> okay. Um, so for the players, um, so space and mouth go first, then Choral, then AZ and then PK. <laughs> wait, wait, what about me? I'm. I rolled the oh, three. Shoot. Oh, shoot, you're right. So AZ, then Fitz, then PK. My bad. All right. So, Ursula, you will keep, keep in check of all of this for us. Yep. Um, so, yeah, you can move and attack. And before you guys attack, you have to um, make. Uh, bravery, which would be. What do you need bravery to pass? How scary is this? I know I wrote it down. One, two. Oh no! Five, there are three six, plus foes, aren't there? <laughs> what <nine>. happened? <laughs> yep. Uh -oh. oh no! Five foes. <laughs> did, did, oh, no. did someone write something down? I'm not. Sorry, no, I'm... I just have um overwhelmed. <laughs> no. Uh, uh there's six on the I team. It, so really. it's not too hard. It's uh you need to at least get a three bravery. To to fight oh, this gotcha. one. Oh, okay. I'm Easier said than done. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you it's also I dark. Have five for bravery. Oh no. I rolled a zero, but I have a five. Okay, yeah. Oh, did anyone get under? Oh, wait, we oh, all rolled three? Oh, yeah, everyone roll. rolled for bravery. So, okay. uh, D9, plus your bravery. Oh, okay. wait, so, like, um... I mean, if you have more than a three um... bravery, you don't have to roll, like... Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I just want to see, like, how brave I am right now, because I want to know. <laughs> you want to know how no. brave you are. <laughs> yeah, what is wait, what what does Dense do again? What's Dense's thingy majiggy? Dense does something. Okay, two two bravery. Um so do I have anything else that would make me Are we all oh, rolling for bravery? Yeah, you yeah. especially because you're like a monster Alright. Would this count as a monster slayer situation or no? Uh no, foxes are like, they're not too big. They're not big enough. Gotcha. Yeah, they're they're kind of cat sized. Also, two of them are children. Oh yeah, right, Philo, Philo rolled <laughs> a okay, fifteen. Okay, then I got. I just got an eighteen. Then for he, my... he may have thrown his back out, but he is not the mule. I have a luck of fourteen. That's good. Uh, the, the luck saves are like. Yeah, I just need to open like that. Can it's someone like put the player guy just in the chat? Like... Okay, luck points. Um, like luck saves happen instantly. Soul, as soon as the cat is faced with possible death, one of their souls may take the hit instead. 
the yeah. luckier the soul, the less likely it is to break. Right. Oh, so, so the that's cat that would otherwise kill a cat is rolled. The cat will do a luck save. A d20 is rolled by the DM. Rolled. The cat's current luck points are deducted from this roll. A chart yes. determines how well your save works. Zero. The attack completely misses. No soul break occurs, but luck points are, are set to zero. All right. So roll a d20 minus your... Um, minus 14. Minus 14. Whatever you get. Okay. So I... Okay. I rolled... I rolled a 10 minus... Okay. So a 4. No, no. Yeah. No. So it would be minus 4. You, you subtract the 14. Oh, yeah, so okay. negative four. Negative four. So no soul break happens. Um, yeah, okay. I think your luck goes to zero. Your luck points go to zero. Okay, so you're not dead. Okay. Um, All right. Good. You were just extremely lucky. Uh, um, yeah. No, nothing really happened unlucky. to you. Okay. okay what your, about my health points? Your hit points remain the same. Your um, luck points you're took it for you. Like, because okay, nice. you're a cat, you have nine lives. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's Bilo, what happened. Bilo gets it's hit really hard and is just like stunned well, for a second. His life flashes before his eyes and he's like, I'm okay, guys. No, no, no. You, like, you, you got hit. It okay. completely missed you. He completely okay. missed oh. you. Like, um, the okay. luck, the way that luck well, works luck roll... is if you oh, had gotten a really okay, bad see. luck save, something bad would have happened to you, you would have been hit. But he completely okay. misses because you're so lucky. Yeah, because okay, I got you. Yeah, My yeah. Save me. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. Okay. Yeah, what's the question? question? Points are set to zero. Does that make him unlucky? Yeah. Well, he, his, his base luck is zero, and not base luck is his his. Current. How how do I regain my luck? Um. Ten times. That's something I can do. Oh right, it was like hitting and being hit. Yeah, so if you are hit, you can lose luck. If you hit someone, you can gain luck. Oh, yeah, I oh. forgot about that aspect. So, you're lucky. <laughs> and then I'm a cream point, so if I touch you, your luck will be neutralized. Yes. And you won't be yeah. That's what you can do. And I am right next luck. to you. Yeah. Your luck goes to 50%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you got, a, you got a cream point, pal, by you. Um, I don't know if you should fight these guys though, because <laughs> who's next? Yeah, um, yeah. Um, so that's the enemy's turn. First of all, okay. oh wait, no, it's easy, right? Yeah. No uh, space. Help oh, me. <laughs> it, 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 it's it is Percival. How close to death does the dude that's about to murder me? Work? Um, he. Doesn't look close to death at all. He looks like he's battered, but he could go a few more rounds. Like, m many rounds of your bow, probably. Percival is stepping back. <laughs> you want to step back, like, twice? Because you have two movements. Oh, yeah. yeah. Step back as far as I can. Do you want to <laughs> step back or step, like, a... Okay. Like, you want to go oh, back Oh, wait, no. Here? I'm going to step to the side. Yeah. Which side? Um, Towards the coop or the bed, because I don't know what left and right mean. <laughs> <laughs> Towards the coop. All right. Okay, so you move out of the way, um, and then the next person Low goes. Loki hyperventilating. <laughs> it's mouth. Okay. It's, um, I, I'm a very brave cat at the moment. Mm -hmm. Honey buns. Okay, so this would be the. Determination if I want to hit the dad, right? Can yeah. you hit the dad from where you are currently? Does Thank diagonal you. work? Um, or I mean, there's a like wall in this way, side. but a diagonal usually works. Maybe you um, need to like liquid pass and then you can and hit. then you can hit. I'll say you can, I think you can probably hit the dad maybe through there, like through the doorway. So wiggle your, wiggle your arms through the door, you do a yeah, little jab jab. Yeah, a little stab oh. stab. Yeah. Because you're somewhere within here. Like, you could be kind of more this way. Because it's not a total if, square kind of thing. Philo's yeah. HP is still zero, right? So. No. No. Luck is zero. HP is nine. Uh, oh, does it get. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah. If luck, the, he, the attack retroactively missed because of the luck save. Yeah. Okay. So no oh, HP was, was lost. Was lost. Yeah. So he didn't lose the nine. But he probably won't be so lucky the next time he gets hit. Yeah, because he has zero yeah. luck. Right yeah. Now. So it might yeah. be better to neutralize his luck. Can I? Can I? Can I hold him while hitting someone? <laughs> <laughs> out of the way. Um, I was thinking like I touch his tail with my tail. We hold tails. <laughs> sure, uh, you can hold. I'll let you hold his tail. Yeah, I would like. You're to so hold close. His tail. You've you've been there for a bit, so. I would I'll... like to hold the tail, hitting the dead. Yeah, you you, you hold so that's tails. Determination. Okay, so and then I you hit the dead. A... You rolled a four. Oh, I have a nine determination. Nine determination. So that'd be thirteen. So thirteen. Um, and you're hitting the dad. Oh my god. Uh, you did a nine, a thirteen. Mm-hmm. Um. Good or bad? I'm scared. Oh, uh, we'll find out. Oh, you hit. Hey. Do your okay. damage. And this would be. This would, okay, how much is damage? A nine plus strength. D9 plus. Okay. okay. I got a seven. Oh, damn. Like total? Yes. Okay. Cool. So. I, I like to look at AZ and be like, and just give him a big old smile. <laughs> Aw, thanks. <laughs> Milo looks back and gives you a big, big old smile and a thumbs up. <laughs> I feel now it's now it's Lionel, right? Yeah. How much luck do I get back from that? None. You didn't hit. Oh wait, no. You you kept the neutralizing, right? Is yeah, that like it's just half? neutral. It just stays at half as long as they're holding you. Yeah. So you have uh, like half and then. We'll hold okay. tails. So it's only as long as they're touching me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. So as soon as it's... they stop touching you, you go back to zero. But it's okay. choral time. Once you hit someone. Okay. It's choral time. It me. Do you want to? Oh like... wait, does, does Mouth get any luck points from hitting? Uh, Mouth oh, you're not go above base luck. Well, Mouth no, Mouth doesn't matter because Mouth is cream, so their luck never changes. Oh right, right, oh, that's true. Shoot. I you're forgot right. about that. Oh, yeah, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you do, Choral? Um, I eventually want to liquid wipe my way past this doorway. But I don't know if I have the movement to do that in this round. So, uh, we were giving you two. I think you guys could all jam in the doorway. <laughs> Just cat paws flailing. Ursula yeah. gave us a really tiny doorway. I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe next round we can up it to three movement just in case. I think. Well, you're all engaged in battle at this point. Like Except you should be me. good. Yeah, I'm not engaged either. So like. Yeah, but when, once you're there, I you're think there. I can get there, yeah. Yeah. They're only ever going to be really small maps. That's um, fair. Yeah. Just a quick reminder, Lionel, just anytime you're actually planning on hurting someone, give me a little heads up so that I could let go of um, Philo. Just holding everyone's hands. <laughs> <laughs> you can hold, you can multi hold. I don't need you unless I I break a soul or I split a soul. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what I meant. Like, just tell me. And um, I am right. not gonna get in. I'm, I'm avoiding situations like that. <laughs> so what are you gonna do, Choral? I wanna wiggle wiggle into the doorway. <laughs> All right, you wiggle on in. You're you wiggle, wiggle on up here. There. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Excuse me. Yep. <laughs> just <laughs> Philo is just like squish. <laughs> I'm very liquid. 
I'm very, I'm very oily. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Greasy cat slides on in. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> it leaves cat residue on the, the door. Oh, yeah. oh. No. <laughs> the door isn't squeaky anymore. <laughs> Uh, easy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Philo. Yeah. Hey, I'm getting it. Um, so the dad is still, dad's still in front of me. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess I, I try to hit him again. Okay. Because it looks like we're, we're fighting and that's what we're doing. Okay. So we're Philo's fighting. Like, All right. For, forget about trying to use words, I guess. So he, he tries to hit him All again. Right. So what's your determination? Uh, my determination is base of three. Uh, and I rolled a five, so that's a six, which is exactly what I rolled last time. Yeah, you're not going to be able to hit the dad. He's he's just uh, too liquid and you're not determined enough. Three? I guess not. I don't want <laughs> it. I don't want it enough. Did you say that you rolled a five plus three? Because that's eight. Oh no, not plus three. Plus oh, five. Okay. Oh. It's no, my base determination is three, and then I rolled a five. Oh wait, that means it's eight. eight. Yeah. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. Oh wait, I was never mind. I was looking at my liquidness. No, you're right. Okay, so okay. I rolled a, uh, an eight. Me? Okay, that could possibly work. See if the dad rolls low. Let's let's hope, right? Yeah. Oh my god, how He's do you passed. roll? I need actual <laughs> dice. It would make my life easier. Um... <laughs> we'll get you some for next round. Next game. Get some pretty pretty dice. Helps. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so. Oh my god. I'm gonna let you hit. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, <laughs> works, works for me. The the enemies are getting like top roll every time. God, so I just... told you online rolls are rigged. I yeah. told you. Well, I, I don't own. It. I own dice. I just. I don't want to dig them out. Mm. <laughs> New ones. Okay. Uh. So Az rolls for damage. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, so and that's a D nine. Yeah. Okay. I strength is seven, and I rolled a seven, so fourteen. Okay. All right. You do quite a bit to him. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. He. He he takes a a a, a good whopping from you. All right. Um, whoever's next can go. Of the, the yeah. Well, no, the luck the luck points would probably matter though, right? To regain them. Yeah. So just roll a six, oh, uh, a a d six, and then add that to your luck. Okay, give me a second. Your yeah. luck will stay at seven for now, but like once once he lets go, what whatever the d six is would be your luck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Rolled. Okay. Rolled a two. Okay. So you add two to the zero that you had in for yeah. your luck. So is that two? Yeah. Yeah. So you'll be at two now, but but you're okay. currently at seven because of the neutralizing thing. All right. We'll end at nine thirty, regardless. Okay. Okay. All right. How long is that? Fifteen uh, minutes. minutes. Yeah. Minutes. <laughs> so so people Ow. can <laughs> so Charles can sleep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, so you can only move or attack. Then it's probably not wise for me to like get within attacking range of someone else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just move two spaces forward because like. The fox can come get me if he wants to. So which way are you going? Like over here? Or? Um, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going towards the mom fox, basically. So like two forward. Oh, like like this way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. And and that's what I'm what I'm doing. Who's next? 
<laughs> it's me, and I am going to <laughs> finally get to the thing. Get, get to the door. Here, I'll put you in. You Wait, can you jump got in. To three. <laughs> I don't think Book is going to, to poke his head inside and then see all the chaos and just be like, "Oh, he's not going to go in." He's just like, "Oh no." Look yeah. at his look. It knows he can't fight. All right. Okay. He's just he's there for reconnaissance. He wasn't he fighting wasn't in the job description even though he's a knight. <laughs> <laughs> and then we move to the next turn. Enemies. Enemies. Okay. Whoa. Um so you hit the dad, right? And there's three knights in front of him. Come on, dad. Come over here. <laughs> and there's another knight behind him. Yeah. So the mom is going to be like, hey, stop. Don't hurt my family where the kitten gets it. Darn. <laughs> We we hurt we hurt the man pretty badly, so I think we can reverse hmm? it again. Um, we, so we we can't say anything, right? Um, this, wait till our turn. Unless is anyone planning to attack or anything? I'm planning to move two away from where I am, but that's it. Yeah, if you, if you want to like keep moving, that's fine. We we can talk if everyone's just doing movement, like nothing will matter too much. Yeah, yeah, I'll do I'll well, do talk too. But like, yeah. what is what is the current state of the room? Um, like... <laughs> um, could I say something oh. also when you get to the, uh, the after you box the room? Box dad has been punched quite hard. Yes. What else is what else is going on? Um. Been yeah, Ursula, you, you you be DM. <laughs> okay, so the the son is looking out the window looking for um, Percival. The dad's mm -hmm. been bopped pretty hard by uh, Philo. The yeah. two daughters by the Coops are kind of hiding and seeing what's up. Um, mm -hmm. And the mom is threatening the baby, probably ready to kill the baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah. I want to I want to try and convince the mom not to kill the baby, but like, um, so I I'd, I'd probably say like, okay, so how about instead you um you let you put the kitten down and uh, leave, and then we don't hurt you guys. That sounds yeah. like a better deal to me currently because you're hurting more than we are. Or so you can that's be the mom. Be, that's I, gonna I'm be losing Milo's verbal priority skills. Now that can the I, dad so is can no I, longer attacking him. Charisma or no? Can yeah, you can. Charisma for that. Like to try and convince the mom that like we're we're a threat and that she should like oh. put the kitten down. Like, is it like intimidation? I, I mean, or... yeah, it would be that, but like it's there's no like separate thing for it. It would just be charisma, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that's uh that's a ten. Okay, so it's pretty. It's like. Yeah, eighteen being the highest. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's she's probably willing to listen to you, but right, Ursula, yeah, you can be the mom. Like, okay, she's she. She's a bit. She's scared about the situation. She's like, how many of there? How many are, of you are here? Uh, uh, there's there's more of us than there are of you guys. At least I, I can't do math very well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, but we, but we'll, we'll let you go if you don't hurt the kitten. We'll, we'll just, we'll just call it, call it a day here. And, oh, um, it, maybe you could tell us some things about some, something we're investigating here, but like, if you leave peacefully, we'll be fine. This cat looks so scared. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, um... The mom's like, we're just here to get what we're owed, and then we'll leave. What are you owed? He looks over at like the um the, the pigeon pluckers. They and looks they back are, at the mom. <laughs> they are terrified <laughs> for their baby. They're huddling against the wall. Um, 
the moms like we they were supposed to give us our fair share of pigeons for protecting their their caravan and they've been putting it off and putting it off and we're finally just taking our pigeons and then we'll leave mr pigeon plucker says this is all lies i've never seen these foxes in my life can, can i throw out <laughs> Is Sorry, it what? pretty obvious he's lying, or am I too stupid? I've it's... told you about this, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's pretty obvious he's lying, right? Yeah. Because the, the kids, mm. the mini muffins said they'd seen him talking to Yeah, them. yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, um, I, I don't think that you're telling the truth there, um, Mr. Mr. Pigeon Plucker. You'd so, side but... with Wildlanders? What kind of knights are you? Well, um, we heard from from Miss Muffin's kittens that uh, <laughs> that you were you were talking with the foxes a few days ago. So um, I, I'm not necessarily siding with the wild banners, but I'm siding with Miss Muffin's kittens, who don't seem like they have a reason to lie about this. Sorry, was Percival trying to say something? I just yeah, yelled, "Like we're knights trying to save your kid." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what we are. <laughs> Yeah, like your your kitten is also in danger right now, so maybe maybe not the best time to be prioritizing uh saving your own uh reputation. <laughs> on the side of the kitten. Well, <laughs> and on the side well, of if they run off, well, if they run off with all my pigeons, I don't think my kitten's going to have the chance to eat. The money. Mm -hmm. I'm well, gonna, could we like, negotiate walk? that they take just most of the pigeons and then you keep a few? It's my livelihood. <laughs> well, I mean, you can get more pigeons. They can, they can, you can breed the pigeons. Not in time. As long as you take all of them. I'm gonna you walk. Be alive to have a livelihood. Yeah. Can Philo chime in here? Yeah, go ahead, Philo. With a, with a hit, um. Philo looks at the fox family and he's like knowing what he knows about foxes he's like I've traded with you guys like plenty of times like what's going on that you need you need a steal here I thought business was good well they, they, they it, it was business oh was it was that is that their business is stealing no oh no the um the the the, the uh sorry they say that they were owed pigeons and they weren't given them. Oh, okay. Percival is moving. Yeah, but that. yeah, Philo's Fy like, yeah. Why, why have you guys that. resorted to like yeah, you, you to be in criminals? Like, I, I know that's like back. kind of a stereotype of you guys. And then, like but one further back. One further back. Uh, when Here? times I've traded with foxes, you're like, you know, you're more merchants. Like, if something happened recently that like. You know why are y'all doing this? Oh yeah, um, why why now are you taking the, the pigeons from them and, and not earlier? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> Philo's whole point. Well, we've Tort been coming... is just now catching on to that. <laughs> well, the mom says we've been coming by almost every week asking for our due, and they keep putting it off. They say, "Oh, next week we'll bring you your pigeons. Just wait a little bit more." Well, we're sick of waiting. We have to eat. We did the work. We 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 won what we're owed. Tort like, like puts like his paw to his chin and like nods thoughtfully. <laughs> I'm gonna. Do, can I see Mister Pigeon Plucker? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. From this there's position, there's too much fox yeah. in the window. Yeah, there's a fox in the window. And... <laughs> there's there's a big angry fox in the window. <laughs> I'm just gonna yell at him, just like, hey, you do realize that there are people willing to help you? Like, cats? Prioritize the possibility of your child having a good time rather than guaranteeing your child dies. <laughs> a good oh. time. I'm yeah. sure that Mrs. Muffin would, <laughs> would help you out with meals until you're back on your feet. She seems like a good neighbor. Philo's, Philo's Real persuasion like, on that one. Okay, should I do it? Yeah. Okay. See if you can persuade them. Um. Let's see. 
So it's it's just charisma, right? There's yeah, no just charisma. Stuff. Oh wait, yeah. oh wait, but it, it is against the cat, so I and I have attractive. Is that like okay? Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, I think that would apply because you're talking to both of them here. She yeah, might yeah, think you're like a cute a, knight. It's plus, let me see, where did it go? Uh, <laughs> the dad's like, I, I can't, can't say no to this hot knight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, it's, oh it's, it's a plus one. So let me let me do my roll thingy. Okay, so that's um seven plus five, so thirteen. Okay, Mrs. Mrs. Pigeon Plucker, um who Ursula will voice um, <laughs> um, doesn't like this entire situation and she isn't on her husband's side, okay? That's your motivation. Okay. Gee. Also, a cute knight is, is speaking her language and her kittens. <laughs> <laughs> her kitten's in danger. She's like, honey, can't we just let them take the pigeons like it's not worth it i don't want to lose our baby let just let them go the knights can <laughs> can deal with everything and and the foxes will leave us alone <laughs> it's like the knights were supposed to deal with this before well, to be did fair you did lie to me to do that didn't. <laughs> did you this try a... to get help yeah, well, the because Lord we left sure town. Didn't hear about that. <laughs> we were here about a completely different matter. Uh, we just so sorry if if we didn't get the message sooner. The, this this He's... whole kerfuffle is the first we've heard of this. <laughs> you said you'd talk to the knights. <laughs> Philo Philo says we are we we are here in town to investigate calicos. That's it, and then. We we heard this all going on, and we stepped in. Yep, that's it. <laughs> what is, is Mister Pigeon uh, Plucker's response to that, Ursula? He's your boy. <laughs> you were the one traipsing about town. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, he's like, honey, I thought they would deal with it before this happened. <laughs> Well, why didn't you talk to them about it before they broke in? Hmm? Well, I didn't... You didn't what? <laughs> He's all flustered. First Listen, you're swindling dead. foxes and then you won't even foxes. ask for help. <laughs> These poor knights. They would have helped. And now look at it. <laughs> well, I didn't expect the foxes to show up tonight. I thought we'd have more time. <laughs> well, when six knights roll up into town, I would be the first one to talk to them if I weren't taking care of a baby. <laughs> you can't do everything, woman. <laughs> <laughs> you were out on the town. Did you not see six knights? We specifically talked to him, so yes, he did. <laughs> Well, I was hoping you'd track down the foxes that I told you. You didn't know about the foxes. You told us about I'm just nothing. Gonna, I'm just gonna back away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving back up to the window. <laughs> yeah, Liz, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> From what I heard, uh, Philo rubs his temples and rubs the small of his back, just <laughs> tired from the whole situation. <laughs> Can I try? Can I try being sneaky and relaying a sneaky message to the to the dad? Sure. What's your sneaky yeah. message? My sneaky message is that let let them take the pigeons and we'll follow them and get your pigeons. You back. are so far away. From you the are dad, not. Though. You're. By, I thought you meant the fox dad. No, there's yeah, no yeah, sneaky no, message. You're not talking to Chad, dad. <laughs> <laughs> You'd, You'd have to show over uh, Philo. <laughs> Yeah, you would not be able to do that. <laughs> I think if there's another sneaky message I can send to the fox dad. What's the sneaky message to the fox dad? <laughs> um... Okay, I got an idea. Um, wait, no, I don't. Wait. <laughs> 
lead him away from the situation? Like, what if we say, ah, well, I go another place where we can give you some chickens if you leave these pigeon fluckers alone. Um, and we lead them away and then we attack them. Did, who are you talking to with that? <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, what like, are you talking uh, about? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, what, like, who are you? <laughs> I like to ask Lionel if that's a good idea. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's <laughs> not a good idea. Lionel's going back to bed. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I've wet myself like three times in the span of five minutes. <laughs> so, um, First of all, like, kind of shoe the sun aside and just, like, point to the um, pigeon plucker, to point to Mr. Pigeon Plucker and be like, you specifically told us that you had no dealings with the Wildlanders. You gave us no reason to try and protect you. <laughs> He's like, well, how was I supposed to know you'd have my side? What if you took all my pigeons and gave them to the stupid foxes? Like you're That's doing right I, now? Why would we do that? That's There's what's happening foxes. now, though, because you didn't tell us about this. We could have worked something else out. If but you had like, told us, no we would have been prepared. Gonna die. Okay, okay, how about... <laughs> Still trying to think of the sneaky message. Lionel, would you I be willing to there's... deliver the sneaky message to the cat dad? I'm leaving. <laughs> I know <laughs> you're liquid. <laughs> can can I walk up to like um can I walk up to like the um the fox the fox mom? Yeah, I can. You head it over I'm this way. Say, yeah, I'm gonna say she's okay. Um, how about you just put 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 down the kitten and your. Your daughters will will take the pigeons you're owed, and you will all leave. She's like, I want to see my daughters leave safely first, and then you that, get the kitten. That, that's fine by me. Um, <laughs> clear the doorway, please. There's a kitten's live at stake. Me <laughs> would like to move out of the way. You'll leave, move out of the way. I'm okay. out of the way of the door. Will you move out of the way, uh, Philo? Yes. Yeah. Uh, which which one? Yeah, I'll move out of the way. Yeah. All right. So you guys Holy let. You soar back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I guess that brings us to like the end of our prologue. Um. Yeah. We're doing we have great. All right. We're in the family. We'll come back for revenge. <laughs> Are you? Up with you, leaving <laughs> in a little negotiation, not even battle. Oh my goodness. Milo <laughs> wants a stiff drink. <laughs> Tor wants to go back to bed. He's sleepy. I'll hit the bar after this. After pigeon this pluck rough night. The pigeon pluckers are arguing. <laughs> yeah, the, the husband and wife are just like, oh my god. <laughs> the muffin residence is like, what is happening Ooh. over there? <laughs> the principal All the kids is are going like... to. Now they're getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all our fault. It's not really so our fault. It's going to make its way over to the door way. to make it's sure the dad's it's that. Yeah, it's definitely the status quo that we are setting. <laughs> bad, bad, bad status quo. <laughs> We were fine. No one died. Yeah. Like, no one died. That's good. I, I, I was lucked out of it. Yeah. No one died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got to talk our way out of situations, guys. Yeah, but we lost the situation. <laughs> we did. What? Were you on the dad's side? We made the time. Dilo glares at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Book it, book it just returns with the report. Just book it just I'm looked into the window at these young kid, cat, at these young whippersnapper cats. I like to think we're all demoted, and that's how we get into the main story. I mean, I, to be honest, I don't think that like the um the the cat fiddle cares very much about like 
the the people that were doing dealings with the wildlanders like the cats that were doing dealings with them yeah i doubt that's like, a, like the whole story is like <laughs> well we made a deal with these foxes though. then the foxes came in and took the stuff we, we owed them like from like and then the knights didn't stop the foxes from taking the stuff that we like fixing the mess we got ourselves into is kind of like huh? it's, yeah. a, it's a crappy argument against the the knights <laughs> <laughs> Look, I am the medieval equivalent of a lawyer. I'll, I'll, I, we're fine. <laughs> 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 like they're, they're I'm sure, the, like, I'm sure, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Pigeon Pecker would, P- Pigeon Plucker would be like, <laughs> would be like, oh yeah, I'll testify on the night side. They saved my baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love the idea of this cat court. <laughs> the cat court. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cat court is in session. <laughs> Just like bangs a little like squeaky gavel. Like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <right. laughs> awesome. So did well, that, you guys... that was fun. Okay. Yeah, no, that was yeah. Fun. yeah, that was fun. <laughs> All right. I loved it. And okay, I like I like being able to do like a practice run. Like I think I'm gonna tweak some things on my character yeah. sheet. Yeah, and, I gotta yeah. pick out strengths and weaknesses for Book It. Yeah, if you, I'm if, pretty pleased with my character sheet. I might write up more of a backstory, but like that's it. Yeah, I would say the one thing that the system, like I kind of built for, is not to get into fights like the best you yeah. can. Yeah. Like, don't get hit because you <laughs> yeah. can't take that many hits and. Mm-hmm. Oh. Anything about cat size can probably take a few hits. Yeah, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Anything canine, avoid. <laughs> this is what yeah, I've yeah. learned yeah. from yeah. my my builds. <laughs> like, I guess these are vulpine. Let's find a polar bear. Yeah, polar bear. Let's fight. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. All right. My rat is looking at me, I think, because I've been so loud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Staring at me. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Oh no, I All had right. the uh the wrong thing open. Everyone, oh no. Everyone can see the uh the horrifying Simpsons thing. Because I was because oh, I, I opened the voice chat instead of nine point yeah. tabletop. Oh. oh no. The horrifying oh, no. Simpsons. What? I uh, we we still saw the um map. Oh uh, yeah. No, I meant my yeah. recording. Not my recording, recording. Oh. I wasn't oh. looking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I oh I was supposed to open up the record oh, I I live and learn. I forgot to change things on my OBS. OBS. Well, we can just like put up the map the entire time, like a still image of the map. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Just recreate it. 